to him, and I thought after evening bullied him didn't use it. So, uh... Did you have anything to do with that? Oh, I'm... Well, uh, McGinnis, you know, says, McGinnis says in his, McGinnis says in his article that, uh, that the Philadelphia Bulletin took Walter, and they went to the Barclay Hotel with an editor, and they spent, uh, five days there breaking that magazine article into 17 separate newspaper stories, but only one of them ran, and that was buried on page 12. Anything about that? No. McGinnis also said in that article that he had quotes from you that Philadelphians are not used to reading. Quotes things that you said. For example, I am no Hitler, but I am a tough cop, and if they want to try me, those black bastards, I'll prove it. End quote. Well, let me tell you now, I'm sitting here, and I'm trying to be a professional, but I, I just don't like some of the questions that I'm being asked. I have never used that expression, and I think it's unfair for a man of your uh, reputation to even throw the type question that you are, but I'll sit here and answer them. I never use that language. Well, Mr. Mayor, this, uh, have you seen this magazine? Well, that don't make it accurate. I know a newspaper man that's in prison. I know some policemen that are in prison, right. too. That doesn't mean... Uh, <laughs> no, that don't mean that everything that McGinnis... I know a mayor it, that's in prison. <laughs> but that don't mean that Mr. Uh, McGinnis, because he writes something that it's true. Well, I, I'm, I'm simply asking you about these things, and there's a big story. I've been around this community, around the country, that uh, that you have been very tough on reporters, that you've kicked them out of your office, that when they asked you quest tough questions, you demand that they be fired and all that. And I that's, just not, that's not true. And uh, talk to some of the reporters in Philadelphia. I've talked to them. And uh, who did you, what response did you get? Well, let me, uh, let me read you a letter I got from a man from San Francisco who watches this show. He says, I take your show in on a weekly basis via Channel 4 in San Francisco, and I heard you say last night you'll be interviewing Mayor Frank Rizzo of Philadelphia. So I hope this letter reaches you in time. I was born and raised in Wilmington, Delaware, and lived in Philadelphia between 67 and 71. Then he goes on and gives me his credentials. He says, my message to you, Frank Rizzo is a disease, a crippling disease that is turning young people away from Philadelphia in droves. I left Philadelphia despite a lot of chances to move up. I wasn't the first to f split from filthy Delphia, and I won't be the last. Now, I mean, this is a reporter whom I don't know who's got, who's, who's got credentials, comes, has a very prominent position. He's out in the West Coast. Why would he write me a letter like that because, about you? Uh, he, just the expressions that he used would indicate to me that he needs help. But why would he write that? Well, I mean, I, I don't no know the man. I could show you a stack of letters that I receive every day telling uh, me and many other people who serve with me what a good job's being done. So again, uh, you know, we're never going to have everyone love us. And uh, I would suggest that, uh, as a result of that letter, uh, that uh, he might need some help, you know. And I'm very happy he's not in Philadelphia, by the way. To go back to this uh, article that was supposed to be in the bulletin, the article said that uh, you could have been sent to jail for altercation of police department records and discriminating against black applicants. Is there any truth to that? Well, let me say this to you. Uh, I uh, have recruited many policemen while I was the police chief, and uh, I'm going to say that I would say that when I left, Philadelphia had the highest ratio of black policemen than any other large city. True. Uh, and I admired you for that from, from Detroit. And uh, we have the highest ranking number of ranking black policemen. And when I left, the figure was around 200, and I promoted about 187 of them. It also said, that article, that you attempted to force witnesses in courtroom trials to commit perjury in order to spare you on brutality charges. Well, that's not true again, you know. Well, why would people you know, write these sort of things? I don't, I don't well, understand. Uh, you're, you're very, I've met you this evening for the first time. You're a very affable, pleasant man. Well, why would they want to hatch at you this way? I have no idea. I think that this is a, uh, an operation. I think that when you're a police chief, they're many, many people that you upset when you're trying to do your job. But I think the proof of the pudding was, or is, that I ran for mayor as to resigning from police chief, and the majority of people thought if you elected me. That's pretty good proof. The article, and I, don't, I won't quote from the article again, I don't think. No, if the you article do, I'm also, going to leave. The article also said, this is the last one, that you had received financial support from city nightclub owners who were heavily involved in drug traffic and prostitution. Mr. Uh, Wagner, 
Let me say this to you. I, I want to be pro professional, and I came for an interview, but I don't think that this has been an interview. I think you've been completely unfair in your line of questioning, and I'm not going to subject myself anymore. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Mr. Mayor, but I, I, here I'm quoting you from a National Journalism Review.